probably like a lot of people here, you've been hearing a lot about Bitcoin and all that sort of stuff. So I've been hearing a lot about it too, and I sort of wanted to get my hands dirty and like play and do and hack with that. So what I did was, at first I wanted to sort of like fix the email problem that everyone probably has and make it a lot better by A, getting rid of spam. So the first thing that I thought would be cool would be to like build an application on top of email using Bitcoin so that it would like <clears throat> charge you like a small amount of money before uh, to send someone a message. And so I started to build that and I was like, this is kind of cool. And I like got it working, but then I realized after studying the um, Bitcoin protocol a lot, so with that, um, you could actually do something a lot more interesting. So instead of being able to like send someone a message and attaching um, a little bit of money to it to sort of disincentivize spam, or conversely, to incentivize people to read your message, um, I started hacking really deeply into the Bitcoin protocol a lot. And I found that you could actually like build um, an email system inside of Bitcoin by um, creating, and the way you do that is, is that you create um, a transaction that has um, a bunch of bogus transactions like built into it. So what I did is I created a transaction to another person to send them like a certain amount of money. So you want to send them like $10 in Bitcoin. And then what you do is you attach like 30 other transactions for like, a thousandth of a Satoshi, which is like the smallest amount possible, and then um, encode in that um, some data that you want in another field that's part of the transaction. Because so each transaction, the way, if, for those of you who don't know how, a little bit, I'll explain a little bit more how um, transaction works in Bitcoin is that to send someone money, you send them this very complicated like encryption thing that they have to then decode to verify that they're them. And to decode it, they have to do some amount of work. And then there's this like script part built into um, Bitcoin, which I can show you here. So like it, the Bitcoin basically looks like this, like the transaction protocol. And what I did is I created a bunch of these bogus transactions that have um, that are worth like zero dollars that ride on that ride on top of it. Um, so let me give you a demo how it works. So this is what I call Bmail, which is like email over Bitcoin. So it started off with like trying to build Bitcoin on top of email, but then I realized you could actually reverse it around and build email on top of Bitcoin. Um, and I'll explain a little bit why, more about why that's cool. So what we do is we first um, send, add and put an address of who we want to send this money to, or the thing that we want to send, and then we put in some amount of money. Bitcoin, and then we say, I don't know, what does someone want to say? Really cool. Hello, world. <laughs> so then what we do is we say send. So then there's a client running on my um, on my computer here that sends it out, that re that puts that, that encodes that message into um, into a Bitcoin format, and then um, does this transaction here. So then we can go to the inbox. And we can see here, and then we can actually look at, um, there's this thing called Block Explorer, which is basically like the public ledger that everything has access to. So what we see here is here's the, right here is the small um, transaction worth like hardly anything. And then here's the actual transaction. And right here where there's this, this, this area right here is the script that I was talking about before. <coughs> And then this is the actual thing that we're sort of mucking with. And then this all gets sent out to the public ledger and then works through the entire Bitcoin infrastructure system. So there's this sort of fake thing that's writing along and then it just piggybacks along. And then the other person has the client running on their computer and then they have the protocol to, dec to decode it. Okay, so um, in conclusion, like, this is actually kind of cool because, in my opinion, is because you can sort of make an email infrastructure system that's completely distributed. Like, it's, right, it's building on top of the Bitcoin infrastructure. There's no centralized server or anything. So it sort of started out as this, like, attaching way to make, get rid of spam. And then it sort of transformed into, like, this email system that has no central point that can also sort of get rid of spam. And uh, in the future, I want to look into, like, other things that you can do with it, like instead of creating a decentralized email system, like tweak the client around a little bit more and create like a decentralized Twitter so that you could like tweet out.
centralized party that has control of it and also attach maybe monetary values to people who read the transaction. All right, thank you.